Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 5th of June to the 9th of June 2017. Starting with the US dollar index, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at key levels of support and resistance in the process. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and we can see where the money is this week. US dollar index. So the US dollar index is forming a kind of bear flag here, as you can see. It's a continuation move to the downside. We are accumulating above the 12149 area of support. We do now think that this could come down and test, retest the 12149 area of support down here this week. If we get a bounce from this area, we're going to be looking up to the 12250 area in the top of this channel. However, our preference is because this is a continuation pattern and it is in a downtrend here. Uh, we expect this to possibly push through the 12149 area, in which case we're going to be looking for some accumulation in this area and a potential move down to the 1208 area, roughly down here. So we're going to maintain a bearish to neutral bias on the US dollar index. The reason we're going to have a bearish to neutral bias on the US dollar index next week it's because it could bounce at the 12149 area, but because it's in a downtrend and we have a continuation pattern, uh, our overall bias is to the downside. Next, we're going to look at oil. Oil broke above the 48.83 area of resistance here, and it did pull back uh, after the OPEC meetings here on this was a Thursday. And it retested uh, the broken 48.83 area of resistance and support. We got a little bounce up here. Uh, and we did say, although we were looking for higher prices in oil, that we could be looking for a pullback down to the 46.867 area down here. And if we were to see a little push down below the 48.83 and this failed to hold, we'd be looking down to the 46.86 area down here next. And as you can see, it did break down uh, and it came to this area on Friday of last week. Uh, we did get a, a bit of a push back from this area, the 46.86 area on Friday as well, uh, closed quite high up. I am viewing this now as a potential continuation to the upside with an A and a B and a C. So our preference on this is a move up back into the wedge here, as you can see, back above the 48.83 area of resistance here. And if we can get a push back up here and a pull back and a retest of this major down, uh, upward sloping trend line here, and the 48.83 uh, area of support and resistance here. So it breaks through, comes back and retests it as support. We're going to be then looking up to the $52 a barrel area on oil and the top of the uh, wedge pattern up here. This would also fit in line with the fundamentals on oil uh, as OPEC agreed to uh, extend the cuts to production, thus increasing uh, the price in oil. Next pair we're going to look at is Euro US dollar. Euro US dollar has been trending to the upside and as you can see, it formed a bull flag here. We did expect it to trade into the 1.12950 area of resistance up here. It failed to trade into this last week. It is making its way up there. So we do expect this now next week to trade into the 1.12950 area. And in keeping with this uptrend, what we'd really like to see is a push through this area of resistance, some accumulation in this area, maybe a pullback and a retest uh, as the broken resistance becomes support. And then we're going to be looking for a continuation of this trend up to the 1.1368 area. So this is what we're going to be looking for on the euro US dollar next week. Uh, but we would like to see a push through the 1.12950 area first because we could get a bounce from here, uh, possibly even back to the 1.110. But we'd prefer to keep in with line with the uptrend. So we'll get a break above the 1.12950 area of resistance here. And we're going to be looking for trades and long positions into the 1.13680 area up here. Next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. US dollar Japanese yen failed at the 113.24 area of resistance up here. And as it failed from here, it capitulated and broke back down into this downward sloping trend line. We were looking for a pull back to retest this downward sloping trend line, and we got that here. And we suddenly retested this. We would be looking further down to the 110 level down here, and then even further down to the 109.35 area down here, and a closure of this gap over here. 
So we are going to have a bearish bias on the US dollar Japanese yen next week. We're going to look, be looking for shorts down to the 110 area and then ultimately down into the 109.35 area next week uh, to close this gap over here. So this is one of the ones that we're going to be keeping our eye on next week uh, and for shorts into these two areas here. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar franc. Now, before we look at the US dollar franc, it is important to note you may have seen that I skipped the pound US dollar. We are not going to run through the pound pairs this week as next Thursday on the 8th of June, we do have the UK general elections uh, and next week could be fairly volatile as the parties continue their election campaigning into next week. So we are going to be avoiding the pound pairs and we will look at trading them once again uh, the week after next. So with that said, let's have a look at the US dollar franc. The US dollar franc started to break through the 0 0.9644 area of support down here. This is one we're going to be looking at next week and one which fits in line with our bearish bias on the US dollar index. We are going to be looking for a pullback and a retest of the 0 0.9644 area up here. Maybe some accumulation in this area and we are going to be looking to take shorts down towards the 0 0.955 area down here and this psychological level. So just to reiterate, US dollar franc is one we're going to be looking at next week. Uh, we want to see some accumulation or a continuation pattern in this area and we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the 0 0.955 psychological area down here. Next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. As you can see, the Aussie US dollar is in an overall downtrend and we see this here as a correction. It did turn around the 0 0.7500 psychological area over here and it has started to break back down into this channel to the downside. We had a fairly strong turnaround on Friday, however, uh, we don't see any structural turnaround in this. We could now be seeing move down to the 0 0.7300 area, or which is the next area of support we see as the psychological area down here. However, this would not fit in line with US dollar weakness next week. So if we do start to get a push higher and the US dollar index starts to sell off, we would be looking up to the 0 0.7500 area uh, as the next position to the upside. Next pair we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. US dollar CAD traded into the support area of 1.34438 down here. We did get a bounce up from here and as you can see it's uh, starting to form this kind of continuation pattern of a bear flag. We are expecting further declines in the US dollar CAD, especially if oil starts to go higher and the US dollar index sells off. We are going to be looking for the 1.33500 area down here as the next key area of support on this pair. So the US dollar CAD is one we're going to be looking out to take shorts on next week. The question is, is it going to start to move down from here and trade into the 1.33500 area or is it going to pull back a little bit higher, possibly even back up? to the 1.3600 area of resistance up here before it starts to sell off down towards the 1.33500 area. So we're looking for the 1.33500 area of support down here. It's just a question of timing on this pair uh, and we'll be going down next week in the live room uh, to the lower charts to try and find a continuation or reversal pattern either in this area or this area up here. So the next pair we're gonna look at is New Zealand US dollar. The New Zealand US dollar broke above the resistance level of the 0.70527 area over here. We did get a little bit of a pullback and we said we were going to look up towards the 0.71347 area of resistance up here next. It has now pushed through this and it started to break higher. If we get some accumulation in this area, we're going to be looking for longs up to the 0.71870 area next week uh, and expect to see the 0.7187 area fulfilled next week if we get that sell off in the US dollar index as anticipated. So. Just to reiterate, we'd like to see some accumulation in this area before we take some longs up to the 0 0.71870 area of resistance as the next stop on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Japanese Yen. The Euro Japanese Yen is in a range and it is forming a pattern which is starting to look like it could be an ascending triangle. If we get a pull down into the 12400 psychological area over here next week, we could be looking for a move from here up to the top of the ascending triangle, uh, the 126 psychological area. And if we start to get a breakout of here, we're looking for the 127 psychological area to the upside next. Be very hesitant about trading this to the downside, however, uh, as it is in a clear uptrend. But if we do get a pullback down into this area down here in a retest of this upward sloping trend line, we could be looking at taking positions to the long side on this pair in line with the overall trend, uh, looking for the breakout of this ascending triangle in the Euro Japanese yen. 
Next pair we're going to look at is Frank Yen. Frank Yen is also correct in that it's forming, as you can see, an expanding triangle. It has come up and touched the top of the triangle here. So the next port of call could be back down to retest the bottom of the expanding triangle and also a retest of this major downward sloping trend line, which price broke out of over here on the second of the fifth. So on the franc yen, we do expect that there's a very good chance this could be pulling back down from this area, a retest of this major downward sloping trend line uh, and a fulfillment of the final touch of this expanding triangle. So we're looking higher probability trade on the franc yen uh, to be to the downside and shorts into roughly, say, the 1112 psychological area down here. Next pair we're going to look at is Euro Oz. Euro was last week traded into the 1.51, roughly 1.518 area of resistance up here. It is in a clear uptrend uh, and we are now looking for price to continue to the upside and trade into the 1.5300 area over here. Uh, also, this psychological area is confluenced with this major downward sloping trend line and the top of this large wedge pattern here. We may get a pullback at this point and we could be looking back down to the 1.500 area down here. If we do do that, we're not going to be looking to sell into this because of the strong nature of this uptrend, but instead looking at a pullback here to re-enter this to the upside uh, for potential long positions into the 1.5300 area of confluence with this downward sloping trend line here. Next pair we're going to look at is EuroCAD. EuroCAD almost traded into the 1.5266 area of resistance up here last week. And as you can see, it just came a little bit short. So I do expect this now to potentially trade into this area of resistance next week. And we could be seeing a bounce from here, possibly even back down to the 1.5014 area. But as this is in an uptrend, uh, our preference on this would be for a break through the resistance area of 1.5268, which is here. If we get a break through this resistance area, we'll be looking for a retest of this resistance area to become support, maybe some accumulation or a continuation pattern in this area. And you can see the next target to the upside on this pair we have is the 1.56300 area of resistance up here. So pretty big gap in between here. Uh, if it breaks the 1.5268 area of resistance here and it accumulates and stays above into this area, we could be looking for uh, some nice long up opportunities up into the 1.56300 area up here. So keep your eye on this. If we get a push through here, uh, rather trade this to the upside uh, than to take shorts or a reversal from here back down to the 1.5014, which could be uh, fairly risky considering this is uh, trending to the upside. So next pair we're going to look at is Aussie CAD. Aussie CAD has broken down below this upward sloping trend line here and as you can see it broke down and it started to pull back it pushed down below the 1.0011 area of support here and after pushing down through here you can see it's come back and it's retest this area of support now acting as a uh, resistance it is a little bit above this resistance area but as you know these are areas so if i were just to pull this down here in fact uh, you can see that yes it's pushing it it's testing it uh, a little bit higher than we would have liked. However, the preference on this, and we are going to be looking for shorts on this now, down to the 0.9928 area of support, which is the next key area of support we see on this pair. So we're going to be looking for potential shorts in the Aussie CAD next week, down to the 0.9928 area of support here. Next pair we're going to look at is Aussie Japanese Yen. Aussie Japanese Yen broke out of this major upward sloping trend line uh, and out of this wedge pattern, it resolved itself seemingly to the downside. It broke out here, it pulled back, and it continued to push lower from here. It is now sitting for the second time at this support area of 82.029. So whilst we have a bearish bias on the Aussie Japanese Yen, uh, it is at a support level. So what we'd like to see is it break down through this 82.029 support area and for this support area to fail uh, and to fail to push this back to the upside and once we're down here if we look we're going to look for some accumulation patterns or continuation patterns in this area and we'll be looking to take a trade down to the 81 psychological area next on this pair and then the overall support level of 80.62 so if we get a break into this area and it maintains itself down here we're going to be looking at initiating shorts in the aussie japanese yen first of all down to the 81 psychological level and then further down to the 80.62 area of support down here. So next pair we're going to look at is CAD-Yen. 
CAD yen has started to look like it is going to make its way down to the 80 psychological area, which we've had marked here as the next key level of support on this pair for a while. It has started moving to the downside and as you can see it is sitting below this downward sloping channel here so as long as it sits below this downward sloping trend line here we're going to be looking at initiating shorts into the 80 psychological area whether this can be completed next week or whether this will be done uh, within two weeks uh, this is the preferred move now on the cad yen it is one we're going to be keeping a very close eye on next week uh, as we look to initiate shorts on this pair if it doesn't stay below this downward sloping trend line here and we get a break above this downward sloping trend line we're going to be looking for a retest of the 83.655 area of resistance here however by far and away our preference on this pair and, and as long as it stays below this trend line is shorts into the 80 psychological area down here so we'll keep a very close eye on this next week the only thing that could cause this to struggle is if oil starts to push to the upside then of course we would see some strength in the cad so this may even if it does work its way down here it could be fairly choppy so just one thing to consider for this pair next pair we're going to look at is new zealand japanese yen New Zealand Japanese yen is sitting at the resistance area of 78.903 here, as you can see. We are expecting this to continue down to the 75 psychological area down here. However, at the moment, as you can see, it's forming this continuation pattern to the upside. What we would really like to see on this pair is a reversal at this resistance area where it sits now. And we can be looking at first taking some shorts down for, to a retest of this upward sloping trend line here. And then once we get a breakout of this downward sloping trend line, we can look back down for a retest of this downward sloping trend line and the 75 psychological area down here. So this is the overall confluence point that we're looking at on this pair. But first of all, we would have to have a trend change and we'd have to see this start to move to the downside uh, before we look at initiating shorts on this pair. If we do get a break above here, we could be looking at the 80 psychological area next up here. Uh, and then above the 80 psychological area, we do have a key level of resistance at 80.646 up here. However, because this is uh, in an overall downtrend, we're just seeing this as a bigger correction. So we do overall favor shorts on this pair, but uh, it just needs to turn around, preferably where, from where it is now, uh, before we can look at initiating those shorts. So the next pair we're going to look at is Aussie New Zealand. Aussie New Zealand traded into the 1.04796 area of support here, which we had on our charts for last week, and we were looking for a trade from here down into this area. We said if it breaks through here, we're going to be looking down for a retest of the major wedge bottom here. It did trade into both of these targets last week uh, and it now sits at the bottom of this wedge in this upward sloping trend line here. So we're at a bit of a um, decision point for the Aussie New Zealand. We could be seeing a bounce up into the 1.04796 area of support here, which was broken. And for this area of support, which was broken to become resistance. And we could be looking at uh, some more short moves either from this area of resistance up here or if we get a break through this downward sloping trend line uh, and a pull back to the uh, upward sloping trend line here sorry not downward sloping trend line if we get a break through this upward sloping trend line here uh, and some accumulation in this area then we're going to be looking for the 1.03312 area of support down here if we are to get a break back above the 1.04796 area here, then we could be looking at a continuation of this large move to the upside here. Uh, and this could just be a corrective pattern of this larger up move here. So we'll have to see how this one plays out. But uh, for the time being, we just need to be patient. If we get a break down below this wedge, we are going to be looking at 1.03312 to the downside. And if we get a break above the 1.04796, we could be on for a continuation of this move. So we'll just have to wait and see how Aussie New Zealand plays out next week. So next pair we're going to look at is Aussie Frank. Aussie Frank finally traded into the 0.7200 area of support here. We were looking for the psychological area. We were looking for this trade here last week. It did trade into this area and it has now pushed through. So what we're looking for is a pullback into this area, possibly a retest of the 0.72 psychological area. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts, possibly all the way down to the 0.70568 area, which we see as the next key area of support on this pair. This may not happen all next week. However, this may take one or two weeks, but as long as we maintain ourselves below the 0.7200 psychological area in the Aussie franc, we are going to be looking at initiating shorts on this pair. So this is one we're going to be keeping a, a close eye on next week uh, and we're going to be looking for shorts.
Next pair we're going to look at is Euro New Zealand. Euro New Zealand is in a clear uptrend and is making higher highs. It has now pulled back and it pulled back to the 1.5709 area of support over here. I do expect now to see a push to the upside on this and possibly even a retest of the 1.6250 area next week. So we're looking for a continuation of this uptrend. We have a very deep pullback. However, it has tested the 1.5709 area support. And as you can see, we've got quite a big bullish engulfing candle. So I expect to see this push higher up next week. If we get a breakdown below the 1.5709 area of support, then we are going to be looking for shorts down to the 1.5503. But as long as it stays above this support area of 1.5709, we're going to be looking for longs up to a double top here for the 1.6250 and then potentially further up to the 1.6500 area up here. However, I don't expect it to come all the way up here next week. This could take a few weeks, possibly even a month, depending on how uh, much momentum comes into this pair. So. If we start to see a turnaround in this area, we are going to be looking for longs on the Euro New Zealand next week. Next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand Franc. New Zealand Franc is in a downtrend and as you can see it corrected here and it pulled back and retested the 0.694 area of resistance over here as well as this downward sloping trend line. So this was a confluence point here of a diagonal and horizontal uh, resistance area. We had a pretty big sell off. Uh, as you can see, this is an engulfing candle and we've had a couple of days pulling back. I do now expect to see next week uh, some shorts coming pretty hard into this pair. And we are going to be looking for the 0 0.6700 psychological area down here next. So New Zealand Franc is one we're going to be looking at initiating shorts on next week if we get the right kind of setups. Uh, but out of uh, all of the pairs, this could be one of the nicer ones next week. So keep your eye on the New Zealand Franc uh, and potentially those shorts that could be coming into the market next week. Next pair we're going to look at is CAD Frank. CAD Frank is also in a downtrend and it did make this kind of bear flag pattern here uh, at the start of last week. And as you can see last week it did sell off so we would favour shorts on this pair next week. Potentially a pullback and a retest of the 0.7150 area over here. Maybe even a retest of this downward sloping trend line before we look to the 0.70610 area of support as the next key area of support on this pair. So again, I would favor shorts in the CAD franc next week. However, if oil starts to be strong, we could see this struggling and the New Zealand franc could be the better pair of the two to trade next week. But We'll just have to see how this plays out. Uh, we are looking for the 0 0.70610 area of support, though, on this pair. It just depends on how long it will take to get here and if we're going to have a strong, a neutral or a weak oil next week. So we'll just have to wait and see. But we favor shorts on this pair down to the 0 0.70610 area of support. The next pair we're going to look at is gold. Gold has started to push above this major downward sloping trend line where price has been rejected a couple of times quite significantly. If we do get that expected US dollar index weakness next week, then we could be looking at a retest of the 1292 area of resistance over here. What we'd like to see is a little push higher and then a pullback, possibly even a retest of this major downward sloping trend line somewhere in this area here. Before we drop to the lower time frames and look for a continuation pattern up to the 1292 area of resistance up here. So if we get that expected US dollar index weakness next week, uh, this could be quite a nice opportunity in gold to the upside. And finally, we're going to end with silver. Silver did trade into the 17.500 area of resistance as expected. We could see this push a little higher and retest the major upward slope and trend line here. However, we are expecting US dollar weakness next week. And if we get US dollar weakness next week, we could see this push into the upside. The problem we have at the moment is it's sitting at this resistance area of the 17.500. And also it's sitting below this upward sloping trend line here. So what we'd have to see on silver is a push back up into this upward sloping trend line. Some accumulation in this area before we start looking for the 18.425 area of resistance next on this pair, as you can see. Uh, this area has been key resistance in the past. Uh, so once it breaks back above this upper sloping trend line here, and if we get that US dollar index weakness, we are going to be looking at taking longs into the resistance area of 18.425 on silver.
So that is it from me for this week. I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. And if you did, as always, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. We do have a big day coming up next Thursday as we have the UK general elections as well as an interest rate decision on the euro. So if you are trading next week, please bear that day in mind as it could be very volatile and it could be a very risky day to trade, especially if you trade with tight stops. The only thing left to say is I hope you'll have a fantastic week next week. Take care, everyone, and good luck.